Hey, this is Ty, and welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Pops. Today, let's step into my world of 10-inch pops. So, why are they so amazing? Exhibit A, how amazingly big they are. Let's go more into this new line of zombie 10-inchers, but first, I've got a little bit of fire over here for you. We're going to do one quick unboxing. I think I know what it is because I don't know her a lot from them. We've got new Funmation coming in. And so with that, let's get in here. I think this is a guy I ordered months and months ago. I've seen a lot of posts. So let's see how Funmation holds up on the shipping. Because this is, my, I think, my first time ordering it from them. Um, but definitely want to see this guy here. Yes. And it is who I thought it was. Keep along with the today's 10, ten inches. The new deluxe 10 inch glow in the dark Shinron from Funimation. Oh man, that is awesome. So, if you didn't know, they now have 10 inches that glow. So, beyond the amazing size, now we're getting the extra features. All right, but let's go into a little bit here. Again, why I love the 10 inch pops. So a lot of folks don't collect them mainly because of, from what I hear, of space and packaging, things of that sort. But when you get into the 10-inch pops, what people don't really understand, I don't think, or maybe you guys do, I'm not sure, but I hope I can uh, share some with you where you see, is the detail. So maybe you think you lose uh, a little bit of detail on the 10-inch pops, by no means. We're going to do some close-up shot of these guys as well. But you've got the three inch and 10 inch pops here. Anyone who's ordered from Walmart for anything, even outside of Funko, of course I get three of my four uh, zombies coming in. Wolverine somehow did not ship, so we're still waiting on him to come in. But that's why we have the little Wolverine here. They didn't do a, a three inch thing pop, but we do have the SDCC zombie thing um, that we've had. That, was, I believe, was the first of the, the zombie line 10 inch. So, these guys are just awesome. I mean, we'll do some 360 panels on here, but there is no lack of detail on it. I actually think when I look at the 10-inch pops, for me, that there's so much more detail in here. I mean, you can really get into all the work and craft they did at a larger scale. And that's what really excites me every time I see theirs. Because you get the craftsmanship of, of the 3-inch pops, but in this 10-inch pop, you really get an opportunity to see it at a larger scale. So you see all the you see all the time, you see all the effort put in by Funko, and it just gets bigger. So you don't lose anything there. Um, a nice thing I find with the zombie line as well is that though the pops are similar, you still have your you know idiosyncrasies, the small details in you know say your Deadpool from your three inch to your ten inch, your you know, Magneto as well, well, how you have different poses in there. So these guys, I wanted to share with you, they just came in this week, and I was like, man, I have to show these 10 inches. What we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll edit in here some stuff, we'll give you some close-ups of the, you know, 10 inch 3, so you can really get the detail of the figures. I mean, 360 around what they've done with all of them are great. Um, definitely a lot of fun. But as we're talking about 10 inches today, so... You have your standard figures, you know, uh, they've done the zombie line. Now they're introducing more glow figures. Uh, they have some of the older ones like Ursula, which I think might be back here, maybe with the Disney. Um, yeah, so we have glow-in-the-dark Ursula. And so we have, you know, we have ones like that in the past. But the, the, these newer glows that I'm going to so, show you today um, are absolutely amazing. Um, the 10 inch Oogie Boogie, we brought that one out today for you. I'm going to show you the glow on that. As well as I'm going to look for my first time and when you guys see it. Um, I don't know if we'll unbox them. We'll probably just do them in the box. But this 10-inch Shenron. So let's take a, a quick look here. Um, I'm going to get these guys 
uh, charged up and going. So if you ever do get a Funko Pops, and a second part of what I love to collect are the glows, um, let me suggest you going on to Amazon and grabbing yourself one of these uh, black lights. They charge your pops super fast and they are phenomenal. So we'll see how much glow we actually get with the backlight drop here. I might have uh, my son actually cut the lights in the back for us. Um, but we're going to give these a charge. So you get your black light if you've never had a charge before. Um, you kind of can get see some of the effect of the pop just by shining the light on it. But also, um, you'll get these guys uh, to light up once the light's off. So we're, we're charging up the black light color here. If you've never done it, you're like, oh, these don't shine. You're, you know, I left them in the house. Why aren't they glowing type deal? Um, this Oogie Boogie is fantastic as a glow if you enjoy glows. And he's just huge. So this is, to me, my favorite. Uh, this is my favorite glow. Unless one day they do one in an 18 inch, then we'll have to see. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can kill the backlight and we'll see if we kill the black light. And if you can still see anything on that screen, hopefully it's just this green glow on Oogie Boogie. Um, we will go ahead and you'll see the black light again. We can go in here and charge them up. Get in here, see if we can get this shimmer on the stomach and neck. And we have the balls here down at the bottom. And both are super nice clothes. Obviously, the Shenron is super cool, super new. But Oogie Boogie, I haven't seen a 10 incher yet that tops it top to bottom. Awesome. Let's uh let's kick the lights back on here. Ooh, there we go. But we'll get you some close-ups of each of the pops, each of the, each of the details. So we have the 10 inch thing, part of the SDCC um, this year, 2020. Um, we grabbed him during the San Diego Comic Con. The rest were just released. They said they were going to do a whole new line of 10 inch zombie things for them at one shot. So there's, it seems to be a lot more of the 10 inchers coming out. Uh, if you start collecting 10 inch pops, don't get, don't, don't get uh, deterred. Um, because when you look at it like I did, there seemed like there was a whole line of 10 inches prior. Well, actually, uh, for Funko, they classify those as 9 inch pops, which is, is super cool. So if you go back, I believe the first signature goes to Groot, and then they have a whole series of 9 inches. Uh, some Batman, some Disney, ones that are ridiculously priced. I think it's a whole series of Grails at this point. Um, really, really cool. Really cool. I've had an opportunity to stop into Chrono Toys in Southern California, and they had quite a few of those in there. Um, and boy, are they pricey, but cool. But I say, come back to where uh, the first group, 10 inch group starts in there and start building your collection out from there. Um, there, I believe we're getting closer, closing in to about 90, uh, 90 plus 10 inch pups post, uh, post group. Um, so the collection is something attainable. Really cool, and they're putting a lot more into it. Also as well, uh, if you can see some behind, um, these 18 inch pops. So 18 inch pops are another collectible line I really enjoy because what there's one, two, three, four, five, and they have the new 18 inch uh, flock Groot, which that one's on its way, will be on our next episode, so six. So, you know, if you're starting Funko, you're like, man, I'm super behind on just as a collector. Um, I don't know about three inch pops, anything else. 10 inch pops, you're under 100 of them from the new from the newer series. Uh, 18 inch pops, you're under 10 of them. Don't get me wrong, some are pricey, like that uh, 1966 Batman, the limited of 700. That one's that one can uh, fetch a pretty penny nowadays. That new flock group being a limited edition will also get you some at 1500. Um, but they're very small collections to start and to get into. Uh, again, we're going to go into some detail on these 10 inches. They are just absolutely amazing, and I love this scale. Um, and if you do just collect three-inch pieces and there's a 10-inch that falls in, it is so worth getting. So if you're a Pokemon collector, those giant Pokemon are just awesome. They are. They're, they're gorgeous. The detail. They, they do not, Funko does not short on the detail of any of these pops. I'm doing the Alien Remix, and I had to get 10-inch Sully and 10-inch Woody in those. And um, they're amazing. So uh, being a new collector to 10 inches, 
I am not as torn on the boxes as uh, three inch collectors yet. So I, as, as you see here, I've taken these out of box. I do generally buy two, one for in box, one for out of box to see how it goes. But um, I love just seeing them out and about every now and again because they are um, just really detailed. Um, they don't get their worth in the box. So as you're watching the video, tune in. We're going to have uh, a little bit more here, just some 360s of these. You, you guys can admire the detail put in by Funko as much as I do. Um, next time around, stay tuned. We've got some uh, new sodas to go over. We're also going over, uh, bringing in some new with a Paka Paka. Paka Paka. Paka Paka? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so new Paka Paka. We're, we're bringing in some, I don't know how new it is, but we're getting some of those. Also some of the Funko minifigures. Again, we I love collecting every aspect of Funko, but hopefully open your eyes as a collector some different things beyond the three inches. Today, focusing on the Tenant Zombie, missing Zombie Wolverine, of course, but we'll add that one in here. Some of the 10 inch glows. Um, but we'll continue it out from here. Thanks, guys, for stopping in, watching this short video, and uh, we'll see you all next time.